Ash, and welcome back to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Let's get started. Crawl my way over. Could not go slower. Alright. Now, we have seen the beginning of this with the phone call and the first light. But I'm gonna go over it again since it's been a few episodes since we've seen it. So, here we go. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening no, out here. No, you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Nope. Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Yep. Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Alrighty, guys. So much couple drama in this one. Are we getting closer to the observatory? I don't know how far we are out. So when I accidentally went this way, we left off at this phone. So that's all we need to do to get caught up, and then we'll go continue. But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet. But it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. I'm really curious Have to see what it? exactly the, the patterns on his face are. In the data. Is it that it's infinity symbol, or is it I like this swirl? Yeah, I got it. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not gonna want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen, Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Amazing observation to have about somebody. But your mom's right. She definitely would not be the type of person who'd want it. <laughs> you know, that's just up to her. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Oh. But... Okay. So, guys, spoiler if you don't watch Doctor Who or anything like that, or you started and didn't... You're not up to season five, but when part of the doctor goes into Donna and it burns her up inside because there's too much for her to handle, like here, too much for the human body to cope with, um, for it to 
withstand it. And she ends up almost dying because of it. Kate, can you hear me? Listen. I'm trying to make things right. I've isolated myself. I'm in the old bunker at the substation. Just keep this band clear. If it's still alive. I'll try and check in every hour. Kate, I've convinced them to use the gas. I, I didn't know how else to stop it. I couldn't save them. Kate, it's in us, too. I've made arrangements for myself after the strike, after I finish the job. You need to think of that, too. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it all. Yeah, maybe it's just... That phone. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. I'm You've kill got all the to birds. remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an airstrike. You have to. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. you listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. So that explains why initially there wasn't any like impacts in the ground, because there was gas canisters, there wasn't actually firebombs. We're out of time, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Serpadash, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.